What's up everybody? This is Dayton from Killinois Kennels again. And what you're gonna see today is an update video on our boy, Killinois Kennels Dark Low. He's a real badass Napoleon son. Still real young, still got a lot of growing to do, but we do have some pups and some upcoming pups coming off of him. So we wanted to put an updated video of this boy for you guys. He's a real, real badass male, man. He's got one of the sickest pedigrees we have over here in the yard, over here at the Killinois camp. Make sure you guys watch this video all the way through. We'll be breaking down his pedigree. He comes off of in-house breeding and comes from generations and generations of our blood over here. And you know, we got a lot of big things planned for this boy, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Like I said, this boy's still super young. He's just a little bit over a year old. He's got a lot more popping to do, but even as if, you know, right now, this boy's super, super impressive. And we got his first litter on the ground here with Bada Bean, and so far he's producing really, really good. I wasn't too happy with the footage we got of this boy. He's way more impressive in person. We're gonna work on trying to get some updated video of him here real soon we're gonna try to get some updated vi video of vanilla gorilla as well so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but this boy dark low here man he's got a real nice head he's you know he's a perfect blend of his mother and his father he's got his father's head you know he's got his mother's body and uh you know we can't wait to see the dogs that this boy's gonna produce like i said earlier we do have pups off this boy and our girl bada bean bada bean is Stella's litter mate sister. She's a Lucky Luciano daughter. We got three pups off of that litter, one boy and two girls. We're gonna be keeping one of the girls and we're gonna be letting the other two pups go. We're gonna be working on an update video of them and then we'll be putting them, the two up for sale. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We're gonna have two real nice pups available. Um, the boy is super, super nice and the girl that's probably going to be for sale is super nice as well so make sure you guys stay tuned for that we did do another breeding with dark low we bred him to one of our best white folks daughters precious i'll be doing a video on her here probably within the next couple days here so make sure you stay tuned for that we got a lot of never seen before dogs that we're going to be bringing to the channel off of these breedings we've been doing and uh you know the dogs that we kept like i said before we don't promote our pups you know we put them away and then you know when they become you know adults and you can really see what the dog's looking like we'll be busting them out so make sure you guys stay tuned for that we're going to be dropping a video of our girl prada she comes out of ninja and juliet real badass female we got a real big breeding coming up with her and then we got this vanilla gorilla breeding. We bred him to this real nice tri female named Mia. We got some footage of her that we're gonna be uploading here soon. This week, we're gonna be uploading the Chicago Players Ball number two vlog. We had a lot of subscribers come out and support this event, came and got on camera. So we're gonna go ahead and bump that vlog up and put that out this week. It's gonna be a real good video. We're going to work on trying to get some updated footage of this boy here as soon as possible. He's blowing up over here by the day. So, you know, I just, you know, he looks good on this video, but, you know, he just looks a lot more impressive in person. And I just need to take some time out and get some real good video of this boy. I need to do the same thing with Vanilla Gorilla. But, you know, that's it for the footage of Dark Low. Now we're going to go ahead and get ready to break down his pedigree. Like I said, he comes from generations and generations of our blood over here. And we're going to start off with his father, our boy, Killinois Kennels, Napoleon. Here's Dark Lowe's father, our boy, Killinois Kennels, Napoleon. Another dog we produced in-house here at the Killinois camp. He come out of a breeding with our boy, White Folks, and our girl, Trixie. He's a real badass boy, man. This boy's producing very, very well. We got a lot of dogs coming up off of Napoleon. Make sure you guys keep a lookout for Killinois Kennel's Red Fox. He's a young Napoleon son that we're gonna be busting out on the channel here real soon. Napoleon is available for stud to approve females only. His stud fee's 1500, but it's gonna be going up here really soon. So if you wanna lock that in, make sure you get with us and we'll take care of you. But that's it for the footage of uh, Dark Low's father, our boy Napoleon. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you Napoleon's father, our boy, Killinois Kennels, White Folks. 
This is our boy White Folks, produced in-house here at the Killinois Camp, and again, comes from generations and generations of our blood over here. He's a real nice show quality American bully, and this boy's been producing very, very well. Just wait till you see this coming upcoming offspring we got coming up off of him. White Folks comes out of our boy, Killinois Kennels Primro. This is White Folks' father. He's a real badass boy, one of our foundation studs over here at the Killinois Camp. This boy's pedigree is unreal. He comes out of an in-house breeding we did over here and has some of the best razor's edge blood you can find. And I'm gonna go ahead and break down his pedigree a little bit for you guys. Here's Primrose's father, our boy, Killinois Kennels Rocky, another dog we produced over here at the Killinois camp. Real badass stud, razor's edge stud. This boy has some of the most exclusive razor's edge blood you can find. This breeding, when we produced this boy Rocky, this blood was so sought off after that Dave Wilson of Razor's Edge Kennels went and got the littermate brother and the littermate sister to the dogs that created Rocky and tried recreating this breeding himself. And this right here is Primrose Mother, our girl, Killinois Kennels Prodigy. Again, another one of our foundation dogs over here. She comes off of a real, real nice Razor's Edge breeding that was off of Hennessy and Paradise. And that would be a Cairo bred to a short shot daughter, which was the same blood that created the Samurai Paco, if anyone's you know familiar with that boy. Paco was out of Roe in Paradise, and this girl was out of Hennessy in Paradise. And the only difference is, is Roe and Hennessy, and they were both Cairo sons. So it's basically the same exact blood. This right here is White Folks' mother, our girl, Killinois Kennels Trinity. She come off of a Razor's Edge breeding we did with this boy Primetime right here, bred to one of our foundation females, our girl, Killinois Kennels Nuisance is seen here. Like I said, Nuisance was one of our foundation females. She was a dominator daughter, and this female is gonna line up on the other side of Dark Low's pedigree with this girl named Torrent that you're gonna see here in a little bit. She is as well a Dominator daughter. So it's a, you know, line breeding on the Dominator blood, which is some real exclusive Razor's Edge blood as well. Now we're gonna show you Napoleon's mother, our girl Trixie. What you've seen before, we were just breaking down white folks' pedigree. And uh, you know, this is our girl, Killinois Kennels Trixie, a real badass female monster female anytime we take this girl out in public she always gets mistaken for a male and uh we got something going on with this girl right now we'll be releasing that info here real soon trixie's about to come in the heat now and if you guys had your choice what killinois stud would you breed her to leave it in the comment section below breaking down these peds sometimes you guys get mixed up so this right here is napoleon's mother our girl trixie and now we're gonna go ahead and move on and break down her pedigree a little bit for you guys right now trixie is really heavy bred on the remy martin blood but she's got the best of both worlds of the american bully with razor's edge and Gotti line she also goes back to this boy pokemon right here real badass remy son and then on the other side of her pedigree she goes back into some west sides monster which is some old school Gotti line bud but that's it for breaking down trixie's pedigree napoleon's mother now we're going to go ahead and move on to dark low's mother our girl attica this is our girl attica here real badass female real nice extreme american bully and she goes back into some of the best razor's edge blood you can find as well that's why i was saying dark low's pedigree is off the chain man no razor's edge dogs this young have a pedigree like this and i'm gonna prove it to you right here i couldn't find any good pictures of attica's father brinks but he was a real badass boy so i'm gonna go ahead and show you his father which this boy is machiavelli's intimidator a real badass buck and a quarter son this boy ties into our blood over here really really well with going back to again buck and a quarter and also on his mother's side which is a dad's daughter this is intimidator's father buck and a quarter a real badass short shot son he was the littermate brother to our girl killinoy kennels envy out of short shot and steel and not only that we had bred to buck and a quarter one time to our girl nuisance so again this blood really ties into our blood over here at Killinois Kennels. 
This right here was Intimidator's mother's father, Razor's Edge Razzle Dazzle, which also goes back into our blood. Razzle Dazzle was our boy, Killinoy Kennel's Debo's father as well. This right here was Attica's father's mother, which goes back into some real old school Razor's Edge blood with this boy Excalibur. Excalibur was one of the first American bullies to sell for a ton of money. He ended up being sold to Frank from Della Loma Kennels for $63,000 way, way back in the day. A real badass boy. He was produced by the same kennel that I got Debo from, and he was the father of Brinks' mother. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to her mother, which is Dominion's Torrent. This is not the greatest picture of Torrent, but she was a real badass female and really lines up to our blood over here. She is the sister to our boy Killinoy Kennels Debo. She comes out of Dominator and Madness, which Madness is Debo's mother. Real badass female. And that's what I'm saying. This blood really, really ties in with all of our stuff that we have going on over here. And that's why I say Dark Low has one of the best pedigrees out. This right here is Torn's father, Dominator. Again, another dog that ties into a lot of our stuff we have over here. So you got Dominator tying into Torrent right here with Dark Low. We got Dominator being the father of one of our foundation females, Killinoy Kennel's nuisance. And Dominator was also the father of our girl, Killinoy Kennel's cashmere. I couldn't find any great pictures of Attica's mother as well. But I'm going to go ahead and break down her pedigree. She was a real badass Thing daughter, as this scene right here. This is Diego's Thing. He's a real badass boy and one of the best producing Razor's Edge dogs ever. He come out of Manu and Neela. And again, that was that short shot and Cairo mixture that you've seen before. And this right here was Attica's mother's mother. A real badass Rizzo daughter, which Rizzo was a real badass short shot son. She's really heavy bred on the short shot side. But that's it for the video of our boy Dark Low and breaking down his long pedigree. I know this was a little bit longer than usual on the pedigrees, but I wanted to explain to you how special this boy's ped was. So for those that watch this video all the way through, big shout out to you. And if you did watch this video all the way through, leave the words dark low in the comment section. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Also, make sure you guys go check out some of our other videos. We got a lot of real nice American bully content on this channel. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out our Killinoy Kennel show vlog number 13. We dropped that video kind of late, man. A lot of people were saying that they didn't get the notifications for this video, but it's a real good video. We dropped that just a couple days ago, so make sure you guys go check that out. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys go check out our video we did of our boy Vanilla Gorilla. It's been doing a lot of views, been doing really good, so if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. And don't forget, we'll be doing an update video on the Dark Low and Bada Bean pups really soon. If you haven't already seen this video, make sure you guys go check them out. I want to send a huge shout out to all of our subscribers and supporters. Everybody shows us love on our videos, hits that like button, comment, shares, all that good stuff. I want to send a big shout out to you guys. We're blowing past 16,000 subscribers and we couldn't have did it without your guys' help. So, and it, make sure you guys stay tuned. We got a lot of real good stuff coming up on the channel. I'm going to be dropping a video tomorrow of the shows that are coming up for next weekend. And then Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll be dropping a video of the Chicago Players Ball number two. We got a lot of real good stuff coming up on the channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it.